it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen for another Foodie Friday. Super excited about this because this just isn't any ordinary Friday. It's St. Patrick's Day and I love St. Patrick's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays. So many different traditions, most of which were actually invented here in America, but it doesn't matter. Let's celebrate. Everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day and today we're going to have some fun with corned beef and cabbage on the big green egg. I am salivating thinking about this. It's one of my favorite dishes and it's all gonna come together beautifully. So if you are ready, let's get ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The stuff I'm gonna show you, some of it you can get at Wasi's Meat Market and some of it you can just pick up at your local grocer. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Here's a look at the super simple ingredients that we're gonna use for this Irish corned beef cabbage on the big green egg today. You need about six carrots, about 10 red potatoes, a Dutch oven, a head of cabbage, We've got one bottle of Irish stout. This is gonna be awesome. It's Guinness Extra Stout. You're gonna need some water. And then there's this beautiful piece of corned beef from Wasi's Meat Market. Now you can buy corned beef at your local grocer and it comes with a pack of seasonings. If you live along the Space Coast, I encourage you to go into Wasi's Meat Market on Wickham Road and pick up their incredible world famous corned beef. You do not need any seasoning with this. It's already ready to go. And now we'll get the egg fired up and get this delicious meal on the egg. So we've got the egg warming up. We want to get that to 450 degrees direct heat. We've got our Dutch oven. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our corned beef and put it right there beautifully into the Dutch oven. Next thing you want to do is pour your stout before we put water on this because we're going to cover it with the stout and water, but you want the stout in to take in as much of that flavor as possible. Next we're going to add water just to cover the top of it. And even though you've got all that foam, you can kind of tell by the top of the corned beef once it gets there. We're almost there. Just like that. Put the top on it, and once the egg's ready, we'll throw that on, and I'll tell you what's next. So the egg's right about 450 degrees, and we are gonna go ahead and put our Dutch oven on, and we're gonna bring that to a boil. Once it's at a boil, we're gonna drop it down to 350, and then cook it for 50 minutes per pound. That is a three pound piece of corned beef in there. So we should be at boiling point right now. So let's check it. Oh yeah, we're boiling over. So let's go ahead and drop that temp down. <laughs> I don't even have to open it up. We're gonna drop it down to 350 degrees and we're gonna keep it there for 50 minutes per pound. This is a three pound slab of corned beef. So that's a two and a half hours. Let it cook for two hours without touching it. And then we'll add the potatoes with 30 minutes left. And then we'll add the cabbage and carrots with 15 minutes left. But again, two hours non-stop let it do its thing at 350 degrees and then we'll check back in in two hours so the corned beef is still cooking on the big green egg i've gone ahead and wedged my cabbage i've got my carrots prepared they're cut up in about thirds and then my potatoes i'm going to leave whole so those are all set to go because once we get to the two hour mark we're going to start adding these ingredients over the next 30 minutes all right so we're about two hours in now we're going to put our potatoes and our carrots Don't forget you still have cabbage to go in here, so make sure there's room for everything. Maybe a few more potatoes. Top back on. And in 15 more minutes, we'll put the cabbage in. So the potatoes and the carrots have been in there for about 15 minutes. Now it's time for us to add the cabbage. 
Oh my gosh, this is smelling really, really good. Got this all sliced up. And just kind of fit it wherever you can. It'll steam off and end up being nice and delicious here in a bit. Oh, this piece is wanting to go in, so have at it. Lid back on, 15 more minutes, 350, and then we're eating. All right, let's take a look. We should be ready to pull this thing off and then let it sit for about 10 minutes. Oh yeah, look at that. We're ready. Let's go ahead and get this corned beef out first. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. Spoon our veggies. Oh, look how incredibly beautiful that is. You can smell it. And then to present. Add a bit of the sauce. There you go. So I've got a little sample platter. This is our Irish stout corned beef and cabbage. I'm gonna get just a little bite of everything going here. Ha! Ho! Ho! Super hot, but incredibly delicious. All the directions will be down below, including links to where you can get all this stuff. And again, if you live along the Space Coast, do yourself a favor this St. Patrick's Day. Go to Wassie's and get their incredible, unmatched corned beef and pull this off. It's to die for.